Adani Group's port unit became the first of its 10 entities to recoup all losses triggered by Hindenburg Research's bombshell report in late January as a recent rally in the conglomerate stocks gathered steam on Tuesday. All 10 Adani stocks climbed in early Mumbai trading, with shares of Adani Ports and Special Economic Zone Limited surging as much as 7.7%. Flagship Adani Enterprises Limited soared, almost 19% following a similar jump on Monday. The trigger for the rally since last Friday has been an Indian court panel's report that found no conclusive evidence as stock price manipulation, as alleged by U.S. short seller Hindenburg. The combined market value of 10 Adani stocks has surged about $22 billion since Thursday's close. The value wipe out since Hindenburg's report now stands at around $105 billion, down from as much as $153 million at its worst. The port's business houses some of billionaire uh, Gautam Adani's most lucrative assets and is touted by market watchers as a group's crown jewel. It is also the most widely tracked Adani stock among sell side analysts. At present, all 20 analysts covering the stock have a buy rating, data compiled by Bloomberg Show. Uh, two U.S. currency bonds of Adani Ports maturing uh, in 2027 uh, rose by about 0.2 cents on the dollar on Tuesday. They are still trading 6% below the level before Hindenburg report. Uh, fundamentals of Adani Ports business have remained solid, said Devin Chauncey, Managing Director of Care, Chauncey Shares and Securities, PVT in Mumbai. Uh, it's strong cash generating ability means that it will get the first priority among investors, he said, uh, adding that the stock remains under-owned by domestic institutional investors uh, who generally prefer high cash generating companies. In a 173-page report released last week, the court panel said that based on the data from the Markets Regulator Securities and Exchange Board of India, or SEBI, it is saw no evident pattern of manipulation and the steep stock price rise in the Donies companies that can be attributed to any single entity or group of connected entities. This referred to a central allegation of Hindenburg, whose claim that offshore shell companies tied to a dummy family were bidding up the empire's shares. Still, the investigations are ongoing and the regulator has been given time till August 14th by the court to close its probe.